Yeah, what's up, Los Angeles and beyond? My name is Johnny Scott Gramercy. This is Neighborhood Love Radio. Thank you so much for joining me. I come to you this week as I do every week with uh, the best in soul roots music. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm, I'm honored that you would join me for the show. Uh, uh, this show, we got uh, we got a couple of cool cats in here. We got uh, Jeff Fredo. What's up? Returns. And Back. Christian Navarro returns. Hello, hello. Chris Navarro is a local chef, uh, entrepreneur type person, and I love having him on the show, man, because he loves to talk about food, and loved ones, if you ever saw a picture of me, it'd be fairly obvious that I love food. <laughs> and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of his upcoming events through his company, HelloFresh, and talk a little bit about the philanthropy that he does, right? Yeah, um, we we started doing this event a couple years back, and you were one of our earlier supporters where we just barbecue. I came back from Chicago, and I wanted to barbecue. Burgers um, and Beats. Yeah. In the winter, yeah. yeah. And uh, first time I got to do it was uh, at Burgers and Beats where we just made burgers, people tip us, and uh, events come, and the proceeds go to help a certain nonprofit. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about that. First up, I got for you Tune Yards, Quest Love. Doing a tune called Lady. A little bit in the spirit of uh, Fela Kuti. Please enjoy. the deep cell can't wash it out shit is real conjure bell put us on our knees make us fiend to clean down keep it real you afraid when we speak loud when we scream you seen a ghost in the haunted house simmer down it's the black you can't bleach out and the story we gon' breathe in and breathe out lady
This is a brand new tune from Malice Russell featuring uh, featuring the late Gerondo. Check it out. Was a new tune from Alice Russell featuring the late great Durando Bay Area legend. Uh, if that sounds a little familiar to you, you probably saw one or one or two promos for the upcoming series of Mad Men that's featured. That's brought to us by True, the good folks over at True Thoughts Records. It's nice to hear some. Uh, there's still some additional material from Durando out there. Before that, we heard uh, Los Angeles' own Orgon with a little uh, Fela Kuti-inspired tune called No Fis- False Ideals from their New You record out uh, last year, self-released. And prior to that, another Fela-inspired tune called Lady from Tune Yards, Questlove, and a whole host of other folks. Uh, that's off of the Red Hot and Fela album from the Red Hot organization. Uh, charity organization does a bit of AIDS relief and research over in Africa. And, uh, cool. Christian, man. Hey, what's up? Yeah, thanks so much for coming back. Christian Varro's a local chef. Um, I first came acquainted, as he mentioned, through one of his sort of uh, small events called Burgers and Beats. And what I like about Christian, I mean, 
the fact that he's just a nice dude, like he's just really enthusiastic and passionate about the culinary arts and he likes to talk about it, which, you know, which who doesn't want to hear about food, man? You know? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's always interesting, especially when you just talk about food. Um, people can let their imagination kind of run wild and um, let's go in. So, yeah. And uh, so you got to, uh, first let's talk about, well, first let's mention the website, the Hella Fresh. Hella Fresh is spelled as the French, the French spelling, right? Yeah. Uh, H-E-L-L-A from Northern California. <laughs> and uh, Fresh is spelled F-R-A-I-C-H-E, Hella Fresh. And you can find that at Hella Fresh. Is it HellaFresh.com or HellaFresh.tumblr.com? Um, it's both. You, uh, the dot .com will work um, okay. as well. Okay, we'll mention it again, loved ones. And it'll also be up on our website, which is uh, neighborhood-love.com. And uh, so you have uh, an event coming up, a Burgers and Beats event? Yes, we're doing that. Um, that's the 19th mm -hmm. of April. Um, we're going to be doing it in uh, North Hollywood. Um, it's going to be, I don't know if we can announce. Yeah, I think we can announce it. It's uh, 12027 Vos Street, number 8, over in North Hollywood. Uh, closest cross streets is Sherman Way and uh, Laurel Canyon. And what uh, what uh, delicacies are being planned? Um, this one, we're um, I think we're gonna do a revival. We're gonna do the the croissant burger that we've done, which yeah. is the the croissant. I remember that one, yeah. Yeah, we're doing that one. Um, this actually particular event helps this uh, uh, future sound. It's a uh, start off in the Bay Area um, nonprofit. It helps um, outer or inner city kids um, connect, and instead of spending all their time on the streets, but uh, get into music production. So. Um, my friend uh, Elliot, um, he leads that, and it's kind of cool just seeing um, the kids. He does a, so we're doing a fundraiser to help them. Um, That's awesome. Funds, yeah, yeah. Uh, I heard uh, Jeff Refredo um, volunteered to play solo bass through the whole thing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Do you think that would be a little bit upsetting? Just just bass solo oh, man. for uh, three hours. Yeah. I it's good for the food, like yeah. the vibe, the vibrations coming off of the instrument. For the <laughs> I can see it, like a it's whole. Good. Not, not annoying yeah. at all. It's like, yeah, massaging the <laughs> the ingredients. No, but if there's anything I think you could play to a bass line, I could just see the whole montage of like, boom, like mm -hmm. whatever, just walk it down and heartbeat. It's like, boom, yeah. ba boom, ba boom. And uh, Jeff Fredo, what do you got? What do you got going on? I think uh, AgriLife's got a couple gigs coming up, right? Yeah, that's right. The end of this month, April twenty fourth. Uh, the Observatory in Santa Ana. Oh, hell yeah. And the 25th, the Belly Up Tavern in North County, San Diego, Solana mm -hmm. Beach. Nice. Yeah. First shows of the year, I think. We've been just chilling. So, yeah. Really cool. Well, yeah, I guess the weather... You guys are a nice warm weather band, you know, so the sun comes out. It seems like... Uh, we try to bring it, you know. Mm -hmm. I was just talking about the... I had on a show last week, Greg Narvis, and we were talking about... Um, cool thing about your band and Hepcat both even though you guys aren't the roots are similar but you guys have your individual sounds but you guys are not crossover bands that's what I kind of dig mm. you know uh, I mean a lot of bands have went on to make some dough you know like No Doubt and, yeah. and uh, Sublime would have probably been very 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 rich um, they're sort of crossover bands you know what I mean you guys both kind of stick to your guns as far as the roots and you want to keep it pure yeah no that's yeah Trying to stick to this certain style, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, and uh, one one of the first uh, big tie-in here. One of the first, uh, it wasn't a burgers and beats event. I think it was a pop-up dinner event. But like you just you just threw on your uh, iPod Christian, and it was just like all reggae. And um, I don't I think I don't think it was like a spur of the moment thing too. And you also set up. You didn't have enough lights, and I remember you grabbed some of your um, strobes for photography and set them up with the. Uh, you know, the umbrellas in the corners. <laughs> it was perfect, man. It yeah. was like the perfect lighting, perfect music. And like, I I went my, with our buddy Cyrus, but I didn't know anybody else. And by within a half an hour, I knew everybody at the table. It was just such a great... Uh, so I think what I'm trying to say is like, you don't... I don't think you seem to spend a lot on the environment. You just make it happen, you know, the atmosphere. Yeah, a lot of times that's how it happened. It's just um, kind of just improvisation a lot of the times. When I first um, started doing those pop-ups, I didn't. I knew I wanted to cook, and I knew I wanted people there. Mm -hmm. That's all I thought about. <laughs> <laughs> 
What do you do with all the dishes, man? I notice you you pack up all the dishes in like these milk crates. Yeah, just um. You just chuck them off the side of the yeah, the just hill. Bag- <laughs> no, no, just get bagged up and then just there's the whole um yeah. After the event's done, there's the the ugly part of just like washing and cleaning and catering is just it's mm-hmm. it's just a big big. There's more work to do after the event's done. Yeah, you could charge people to bring their shotguns and like throw them in the air like clay pigeons. The, yeah, the dirty oh. dishes. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. They make some money. Yeah. And it'd be fun to throw with the dishes, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Neighbors will like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, um, and let me see, we got, uh, you do a lot of, you now we were talking about you living in North Hollywood, or Sherman Oaks, right? Yeah, yeah. Sherman Oaks. And um, you do a lot of cooking at home? I do, I do. Um, I cook when I can. A lot of times there's so many events that go on. Um, there's like food that's around, but sometimes you're just in the mood. And ever since the sun started to come out, I started like smoking things and just getting in that hole. Like what? Like walk us, walk us through one of your latest uh, adventures here. Oh, we're just uh, uh, doing uh, pork shoulders. Just that was one thing. Just wanted to do. Just do it. Pork you, shoulders. What? How do you? What do you do to it? Is there like a glaze or what? Uh, forgive me, I'm a novice. Like, is there any kind of? No, most, or something yeah, most of the times we go to get the, the salt and the sugar and the um, the flavor of the brine to penetrate. You got to just brine the, the meat and let it soak in. What so does it, brining do? Brining uh, allows um, the, the salt and sugar and um, the flavor of the brine to penetrate. And also, um, it keeps the, the, moi- the, the meat extremely moist because um, mm-hmm. well, you're going you're gonna to submit it to a, a process. So once the salt sugar goes in, it retains water and retains like moisture. When you submit something to a smoky environment for hours, hours at a time, you want to keep that um, the the concentration gradient of the liquid mm-hmm. inside. So, um, but yeah, in the scientific way, so I it guess doesn't the, become jerky. Yeah. Somebody told me if you if you brine your meat, I mean, there's almost there's barely a chance that it could be undercooked because just molecularly, like the process is, it kind of does like an internal cooking. Uh, yeah. Um, well, to to a certain extent, yeah, you can actually, if you brine something, you you could start cooking it over a certain amount of time. And brine is just a, it's kind of like a marinade for the most part. So, mm-hmm. but I do a little bit of both. So I, I go, I do a brine process, and I also have a, a, a like a rub that I go on. So depending on what I'm smoking or what I'm cooking, what it's do you a serve little it bit with? of both. What do you serve it with? Uh, I, Not meat. A, no, it's meat? funny because I did a barbecue the other day, and like. All I had was just meat, and I just I didn't know what starch to have, so I had some macaroni salad. So the table was actually labeled meat with an arrow to the left and starch with an arrow to the right. And that was it. I didn't, I didn't write the menu. Now, I know you're not much of a drinker yourself. Do you know your wines pretty well? My, what's that? Wines? Your wines. Uh, yeah, usually since I, I've been sober almost two years now, and I just find someone who is into wines and mm-hmm. have them uh, kind of pick it out. Yeah, that stuff is pretty interesting to me too. Not just the main course, but like you know all the other uh, accoutrement. You know, um, I want to come back and talk to you in a few minutes too. Uh, but you guys, you guys sticking around? You want to hear some more music? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let me see. We got here. Oh, some good stuff. Um, I'm gonna start you off with. Uh, there's gonna be a little bit of hip hop, some new stuff. Uh, Can Kick comes out of uh, Oxnard. He was sort of a year behind Madlib. In age and school and sort of came but they sort of you know learned their craft at about the same time he's out of oxnard california can kick and his this tune is called he's got a unique style you i think you'll like it nardcore <laughs> shrooming birds morning song is the name of the tune from the beautiful opus of love deeper than the flesh album out last year that was self-released he's a producer as well as an artist right after that we got uh, chester watson and i also want to want to get your guys take on this guy i kind of like him he's got a little bit of a guru vibe um, but he's young, dude. Like, I think the song we're going to hear was recorded when he was 16. I think he's 17 now. And then some Jose James after that. Hope you enjoy it. Don't you turn back. Don't you sit down on the steps. Because you find it's kind of hard. Don't you fall now. For I still going, honey. I still climbing. Please, you don't know.
Okay, check this guy out. This next one, Chester Watts. You can check out his, uh, if you like this tune, check out his band camp, Chester Watson. Something to eat, and you go down the street. You see 
some friends of yours and then they all speak. Say, what's happening, man? You sleep in the park again? Yeah, Nothing but a survival park. thing, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's your life. Then again, my friend, okay. all they want to do is play you like you are a fool, but I know better. You're safe from school through this day, cool. Mark, you are my school, now know better. I maintain black, we'll overcome. In the sun, on the bench in the park where you lay when it's dark and it's wet. Cause it's raining on you, you got newspapers and you like to go home. But you can't cause you just got put out on your own You're thinking about your kids, you're thinking about your girl You're thinking of all the things it did You see the children play, you hear the people barely look at you laughing while they run away Sleeping in the street, living from the heart Sleeping in the street, people fall apart All those people something Earth first on the edge of all time And yet they search for drums and pivot dreams Some least so far, yeah, by my soul Won't sell my soul to the devil on another level Never with another rebel in trouble Oh no, I'll never see them go down My people can't go down Check this out. Anthony Valadez, local LA icon, KCRW DJ, photographer, musician. He did this tune with uh, the Decoders and his newest record, brand new music from the album In Search Of on the Plug Research label.
Anthony Valadez in search of his name of the record on the Plug Research label out of Los Angeles. Before that, we heard Jose James, and that sounded a little familiar to you, right? That's right. The song was totally based on a Freddie Hubbard tune from the early 70s called Red Clay. Mm -hmm. They basically took the same exact groove and sort of changed up the the chords a little bit changed up the bass line but the groove is exactly the same mm -hmm. it's classic ethically is that done is that like you know with reggae it's kind of there's just a spirit of uh, borrowing yeah that goes on and it's just kind of part of the biz the version yeah. <laughs> as they call it, it is that the same way you would say with in like a, uh, jazz or yeah. I think in any style of music I think that's pretty common but yeah in reggae it's sort of an, a part of it you know mm -hmm. But whereas in other styles of music, everything's borrowed from somewhere, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whether outright or... But it's, you know, like in hip-hop, it's tolerated to a certain degree as part of the, as part of the, part of the musical culture. Right. You know, is it the same way in jazz? Hmm. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I stumped you, huh? I'm not sure. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a, in the jazz... I'm not in the contemporary jazz scene. Before that Jose, Jose James tune, we heard uh, Chester Watson, young kid, I think he's 17 now, self-produced, self-released. He's a playwright as well. And uh, you can find more of Chester Watson's music on his Bandcamp page. Uh, you can find all his tunes are up. And they're at, uh, oh, and it's a name your price kind of operation, so you could go and pick the songs you like and just name, you know, you're not required to put in 99 cents or dollar eight or whatever. Mm. And then uh, before that, we heard Can Kick out of Oxnard, California. Shrooming Bird, Morning Song from the beautiful Opus of Love, Deeper Than Flesh. Album also self-released and produced from Can Kick. And uh, real quick, I want to make sure to get loved ones that you know that April 24th, uh, the Agri Lights featuring Mr. Uh, Jeff here. Yes. will be at the Santa Ana Observatory. <laughs> And at the following night on the 25th, there'll be the Belly Up Tavern in San Diego. For more information about those shows or anything else, or if you want to see a beautiful Jeff uh, photograph or two, <laughs> you can check out agroreggae.com or check out, of course, the AgroLights Facebook page. And, uh, yeah, it's right on time for you guys to be playing some shows. I mean, the sun's up and the weather's nice, and you guys are just that type of outdoor yeah. fun band. Yeah, yeah. we're going to bring some and bitchy vibes. And uh, Mr. Chris Navarro representing Hella Fresh. And uh, once again, Long Jones, the spelling for Hella Fresh is H E L L, -L A F R A I C H E. You can find him at hellafresh.com. You guys also have a Facebook page, right? Uh, we do. Yeah. Uh, Hella Fresh. Hella Fresh. And uh, <clears throat> this guy from the uh, Burgers and Beats event, what do, what do we have to expect in the next few months from Hella Fresh? Uh, we've been uh, be helping out. We're gonna be descriptive be about food, if you can. Man. Oh, we're participating um, in the the six two six night markets. They uh, last year they had a huge event. They split it into three events this year. So it's gonna be Orange County Night Market, Downtown LA Night Market, and also the six two six night market. Mm -hmm. We'll be participating in those. Um, so night market. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, 626 Night Market, you can look under. We're going to be doing a Filipino food concept, which is uh, a lumpia, which is a, it's a, like a deep fried egg roll. And it's um, when you crunch, it's a crunchy, crispy mm -hmm. um, egg roll. And uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be uh, doing some classic flavors and also experimenting with some other um, California flavors. So, No kidding. That sounds pretty cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely be there with my bib on. <laughs> I mean, let's have a couple more tunes and I want to come back and uh, talk to you guys just a little bit more. This is uh, The Great Lee Fields and The Expressions. Brand new music from the album coming out on June 3rd on the Truth and Soul label. Magnolia is the name of the tune. Enjoy.
Kiwanuka. From his, uh, I think it's his third record. Anyway, it's, uh, it's on Third Man Recordings. That's a single. Oh, the record's not out yet. It's expected this summer, but that is a single called You Got Nothing to Lose by uh, British singer songwriter Michael Kiwanuka. He's playing with Jack Johnson a couple days in uh, August at the Greek. Sounds like a good time. Uh, prior to that, we heard the great Lee Fields and the Expressions. Magnolia is the name of the tune from the upcoming record uh, on June 3rd called Emma Jean on Truth and Soul Records. Loved ones, check out the Truth and Soul label online. They get a really good catalog. I recommend it. Um, he's also playing soon. I don't have the dates. I think he's playing right around that release date, though, in Los Angeles. And uh, awesome. Christian. Jeff, man, thanks so much for coming in again. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, you, guys, you. Are, you guys are always welcome. And uh, looking forward to the Burgers and Beats uh, event coming up uh, April... 19th. 19th. In uh, North Hollywood at, uh, Vo- on Vo Street. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but you can check out more on their website, HelloFresh. That's spelled H-E-L-L-A-F-R-A-I-C-H-E.com. Or check them out on the old uh, Facebook there. And uh, Jeff, we'll see you on April 24th at the Santa Ana Observatory. Yeah. And uh, love you ones. Check out uh, agroreggae.com or check out the AgriLights on Facebook. Love you ones. I will see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye.